sister is it your situation those who are the word of god says one who is in christ jesus becomes a new creation the world passes away whatever may be your situation god has come to give life for us life in all its fullness john 10:10 that's why he says in first peter john chapter 5 verse 4 everyone born of god overcomes the world and this is the victory that is our faith when this blind man heard that he is the blind and sitting on the verse 36 says he heard the crowd going by he asked what was happening they told him Jesus of Nazareth is passing by the great healer the great miracle worker the one who does many marvelous things who has opened the eyes of the blind the one who has made the people lame to walk even the dead to be risen that Jesus he has come into my life this man when he heard the good news the first thing that happens to him is he focus on what he wants in his great heart he desires i do want i do want to be healed what is my situation i am a blind man i am a beggar i am loved by nobody whatever may be the situation he creates yeah desire in him this desire this desire makes him to focus to focus he ask the people in which direction he is coming yes he is coming he is approaching he is reaching you people are saying immediately he focused on what he wants he wants his healing that's all so the blind man cried out jesus son of david have mercy on me jesus i am here who are you you are the son of david we have heard the messiah will be born in the family of david he will be our savior he will be our god and i have heard about you and you have come now my eyes are looking towards you though they are blind i know this day is my day this day god has assigned for me i will not be able to leave it so he cried he focused on what he wants he wanted the healing of jesus yes and then when he focused and he cried he made a decision in his mind now jesus has come the healer has come the miracle worker has come now he creates the mind the thoughts he cries out if i keep quiet i will lose this moment this is the moment god has given to me this moment god has assigned for me i will not leave this moment so he began to cry and when he took the decision to cry and called the people what happened verse 39 says those who led the way rebuked him world is world John 16:33 says in this world when you follow the lord lord has kept so many blessings for you but it will not be that easy many obstacles come on your way many obstacle may come from your own family so look here those who are near they rebuked him and they told him keep quiet hello my dear if the lion if the lion though he is very big if you only imagines about a buffalo or a sheep and sits there it will never get food it has to take the action yes so 
He never bothered. Let anybody think anything of me. This is my moment. If I don't take action, he get he knows very clearly what he wants. I want healing. And he built up his belief that this man, this Jesus, will definitely will heal me. And so I have to call on him. I have to get to him. I have to, if I am not able to receive, reach, if my eyes are become an obstacle, I will use what are the things available to reach him. He is going, but I will reach him. I will move into him. I will possess him. Okay? If the eyes are not there, so what? I have my throat. I have my energy. I have my life. I have my wisdom. And if I am going to cry over what I don't have, I will achieve nothing. With what I have, I will seek my God. So with a voice and with the energy, with the wisdom he had, he cried loudly. He never bothered about what others are saying. Keep quiet, they are saying. But he used his throat. Jesus! Son of David, here I am. Please come. I need you. Man looks outside. God looks at our heart. First Samuel 16, 7. God is looking for people who are looking for him. Yes. First Chronicle chapter 16, verse 9. And Jesus stopped and told, call him. Call him. The world will rebuke you. But when you know what you want, and you raise up your energy, your thinking, your ideas, you have to create your ideas. Nobody will create. Nobody helped that blind man. He knew I want healing. So I have to work hard. How can I receive that healing? I will call on him. Because the Bible says, call upon me and I will answer to you. Jeremiah 33, 3. When you call, I will answer you and I will reveal to you the great thing God has kept for you. He knew his, the word of God. He knew what he wants. He knew how to get what he wants. He made a program. So he began to cry. And when he shouted, many people tried to stop him, rebuke him. But he never kept quiet. He took the action. No! I will not leave until I will get what I wanted from my God. And Jesus called him. And said, once again, what is your dream? What do you want? He said, I want to be healed. He said, do you think that I can be able to heal you? Yes! You are the son of David. He made his idea very clear. He not only knew what he wants, he also knows how will he get that he will get through Jesus because he is the son of David. He is the Messiah. Do you want miracles and healings in your life which God wants to give it to you? You should know who are you. What do you want in your life? Where do you want to reach? And if you are clear of what do you want to do with your life, you will build up your mind. How will you get it? You will get into the idea. You will get into the inner heart of yours. Will begin to plan with God. And God will teach you. The moment you call on him, he will reveal to you what to do, how to do, where to go. Today, many people don't call on him. They do not know what do they want. Yes, negative thinking. Negative crying, criticism, depression. These are the elements the evil spirit brings like a virus. Like a virus. One man 
is very sick. And they called me in the morning. And I called that woman because I know her husband is sick. I called her. She was crying like, oh, my husband is like that. I said, hello, my dear. You are a woman of God. You have come for so many prayer meetings. Whatever may be the situation, how can you allow the situation to overcome you? You are supposed to overcome your situation. The Bible says, 1 John 5, 4, Everyone born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcomes. That is our faith. You are supposed to have the vision. My husband is sick. And I want the healing from my God. Jesus said, You should know what you want very clearly. He said, in Philippians chapter 3, verse 15 to 21, focus on what you want. So, let us keep focused on the goal. Those of us who want everything God has for us, if any of you have something else in mind, something less than total commitment and faith that your God can do it for you, will be, will clear your blurred vision. You will see to it, stick with me, says the Lord. Yes. You should focus on what you want. And this woman is crying. Already the husband is sick. And she is crying. She is making herself miserable. And making that man also miserable. Many people do not know what to do with their lives. Another woman called me. She said, Father, I am not able to breathe. Okay? No problem. Our God is the one who breathes. And he will breathe for you hundred times because you are precious to him. No, Father, if anything happens to me, what will happen to my daughter? What a sad story. We call ourselves Christians, but we do not know the scripture. The scripture teaches us a God is a God with a dream. He said, build up your dream. Build up who you are. Deuteronomy chapter 20 verse 4 says, For the Lord your God is the one who goes before you. He is with you to fight for you and give you victory in every circumstances. In every circumstances, you are not thrown away as nobody. You should be clear of what you want. You should be aware of what are you doing. You are crying. You are calling yourself that you have fallen into a very bad situation. And all those, the daughter who is already not well, she is crying. What will happen? Hello, my dear. Is the scripture Jesus said, if you are in me and my word in you, only there you bear fruit. We should know, focus on, number one, focus on what you want. What is your dream? What's your vision? What's your goal? Stick to that. This blind man, he said, I want healing. Very clear. He not only said to Jesus, I want healing. Even before he met Jesus, he made in his mind, I want healing. What do you want from the Lord? What do you want to do with your life? The brain will give you whatever you want. Most people focus on their problems and get into more problems. Because what you focus on, there you direct your energy. If you focus 
on healing you will do everything that is needed for you to do to get that healing if you focus on your helplessness your sickness your pain your death all your energy will be moved into that and they will be dried up the lord is saying focus on what you want that's why the word of god clearly says let's keep focused on the goal those of us who want everything god has for us number 2 the lord says believe in god and believe in me jesus says john chapter 4 14 verse 1 if you want healing if you want miracles if you want prosperity if you want job believe number 1 focus on what you want number 2 work on that work on to get what god how can you get it i know of a girl she was so much depressed she went to the level even to commit suicide i listened to her then i told her what do you want i want to die go and die why did you call me she said what father i am saying i want to die and you are saying go and die then what do you want life but where is life father every door is closed who set the door is closed revelation 38 says if your god opens the door nobody can close it amen have you not read first corinthian 13:10 when the perfection of god comes upon you all your imperfection will move away do you know first corinthian chapter 10 verse 13 he will not allow you to be tested beyond your strength but you have to make the plan god will not make the plan for you he has already made the plan for you you are his child god works yes the word of god clearly says second corinthian 5:17 he who is in christ jesus is a new creation Amen. if you want the job if you want life you got to plan out out now she said yes father i will give my application okay what have you done i have finished my msc what subject maths what foolish girl are you daughter how many people are crying for maths apply into the school no all the schools are closed they are not going to be closed permanently apply it she applied into seven schools and four schools called her online interview and she is selected in two schools what a mighty god we have you have to create your dreams god will be walking with you that's why ephesians 3:20 says god is at work in you ephesians 2:10 says your god has made you as a masterpiece you have to you should know number 1 what you want what is your dream what is your vision what is the goal of your life and number 2 believing in god and he is in you colossian 127 i share the great secret with you the god of glory the one who can give you glory he is inside you he is at work in you philippians 2:13 he is at work in you that his plan for you will be fulfilled through you yes believe in god your ideas are very very powerful please do cherish them work out on your boy ideas because ideas change the world in this world besides creation everything that are found every thing that was found as began with ideas 
which God has put into the mind of people. That's why in the book of Isaiah chapter 30, verse 20 onwards says, Though you have bred up suffering, water up struggle, your God will not keep quiet when you go to him. He will speak to you from within you. My son, this is the way you should do. Once, Samuel Graham Bill was given Nobel Prize for Telegraphy. They asked him, Sir, how did you find this? Samuel said, It was God's plan to give this gift of telegraphy for this time of the people. And I am happened to be on the way and I said yes to the Lord and God gave it to the mankind through me. If I was not there, God would have used somebody else. What a great man. He knew. He said, Daddy, you want to do great things to the mankind. Here I am. Use me. And God used him. You are not an ordinary guy. Have a great vision and join with God and plan out how you can achieve it. Planning is very important. The blind man knew that Jesus is the son of God. So he made, I will call on him. People said, you are blind. You can't walk. Jesus is already going. Many obstacles will come. But you should build up the idea. Okay, if the eyes are not there, so what? I can't see him, so what? To reach my Jesus, not only my eyes, I have something else. If the eyes are not there, I have my throat. I have my knowledge, what to do? So he cried, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Come into my life. He took the action. You should have the vision and you should work out on your mind how the plan of God will be worked out in you. Third, you should take the action. And he took the action. Jesus called him and healed him. Negative ideas. Negative ideas will be like virus to kill you to take away the energy from you and it will make you zero it will make you useless social change people will say the world should change the leader should change social change will not take place until self transformation takes place you have to know, who are you? I am the child of God. I am not born for death. I am not born to remain as a blind man. And God will open a door for me. God has a plan for me. And how can I achieve God's plan in my life? I have to get idea. I should have plan. I should have idea to fulfill that plan. And take the action. And the blind man received the healing. Close your eyes and pray. God is calling each one of us. You are the masterpiece of God. Through you, God wants to do mighty things. Nibu Prabhu Malachina Patramo Prabhuni Mahimakala Karyal. Nilo Cheyalani Devud Asha Pratunar. Lord Jesus, I surrender your children. In this sick, broken world, you come as the healer, as the one who fights for us, as the one who brings victory for your children. Today you look at us, my son, my daughter. You are asking three questions to us. What do you want to do with your life? What is your dream? Focus on what do you want? What is your vision? Number two, I am with you. I am at work in you. So how can we 
build up build up the vision get into the idea keep up the idea don't worry about what others believe what do you believe by what do you want you will never get you should believe that god has called you as his child you should believe your savior died for you you should believe that your god is a living god you should believe that he will fulfill those who trust in him he will never leave those who trust in him you got to build up your belief third take action romans 8:28 says god is at work we know for those who love god all things will work together for good lord jesus i surrender all the children to you talk to them lord sorry for the moments we lose our own selves without knowing the truth build them up lord to build up the vision for their lives be clear of what they want in their lives and secondly how to do it what are the doors you have opened for them third take the action move with you that all that of yours will move with them bless them bless them may all the closed door of blessing be open to them Amen. today let them see the vision that you have kept for them Amen. let them be aware of what are the ways through which you are going to achieve help these people to achieve Amen. let them move with you let them call upon you let them be blessed oh the heaven be opened let them see the heaven thank you lord